Hello everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I'm doing some fun guest design work this month for Crazy Craft Obsessions. I am also playing along a little bit with 30 Days of Sketches, with Gritty's Beautiful Life. So that sketch was for today, which is the 13th of March's sketch and it is designed by Amaryllis Doira. I could be pronouncing that wrong for creative scrappers. Uh, so yeah, that's super exciting. I'll leave a link to the 30 Days of Sketches Facebook group down below. You can see all the sketches, heaps of people playing along. Everything will be linked in the description box. And uh, Cass from Crazy Craft Obsession. Uh, well, I reached out to her and said, I'd love to do some design work. And she very graciously was like, we'd love you to. So I was very excited <laughs> and I had a look on their site, on their shop and thought that I really might like to have a bit of a play with the Doodlebug um, Great Outdoors collection. So I don't use a lot of Doodlebug. I've not really had much Doodlebug um, in my stash over the years and so I knew before it arrived, obviously, I had done a fair bit of looking around and research and things and I knew it was quite... They do quite like cutesy collections for want of a better word. And so I knew that coming into it and I was super excited. And this is obviously a little more kind of gender neutral collection, which is great. Uh, and so, you know, extremely versatile. I am using it, I think mostly this month, actually, to, to scrap photos of Lincoln mostly but also we're going with obviously the outdoory type theme because it's an outdoor collection now I'm not hugely into themed collections with themed photos but obviously you know there is a um like it can be a bit difficult to use some highly themed products on a layout when your photos aren't really related to that theme <laughs> but I was super excited so I got the 12 by 12 paper pack collection which also comes with a sticker sheet I got two lots of their ephemera packs which they call odds and ends and I got a few of the enamel dots and things and I also got a few other bits and pieces but um, one other thing I got from the crazy craft obsession store is some uh, raw chipboard uh, from a company called too crafty and so that's an Australian company as well uh, and so, yeah, you'll see that appear on this layout too, which is just right there. <laughs> the Handsome Little Man title. Uh, so, yeah, I'm so excited. And um, Cass and Jacques, who own Crazy Craft Obsession, were super nice. And they thought that I might like a little discount code for my viewers. So their shop, they do currently only ship to Australia and New Zealand. So apologies if you are international, but they are, they are a great Australian scrapbooking company who have very recently started um, and they're online and they have great range constantly getting into new collections which I love plus a lot of mixed media supplies which obviously I also love um, and just they're just super lovely and so if you're after something specific you can also reach out to them because they will definitely be able to let you know if they can get their hands on it from their suppliers. So I will leave everything in the description box down below for Crazy Craft Obsession. My coupon code, which is a 10% off code, and it's 10% off like store-wide, off already reduced items, everything. Like you can stack codes. So if you go and watch the Facebook Live classes that Cass does on a Friday night, no, a Saturday night, Saturday night, <laughs> she does a class, a live scrapbook class. They always have a coupon code uh, and like a discount code that they release for specific items that Cass uses in the class. Um, and so you can stack these codes, which is amazing. My code is a one use only. So, um, you know, have a think about what you like, pop it in your cart, get yourself a little discount. Gotta love it. Um, she also does this amazing uh, like box shipping deal where you can buy some things now and she will hold on to them for you until you've sort of filled the box and then post it. Amazing. Uh, so it saves you sort of paying postage each time. You might want to place an order, but obviously if you want to grab something before it sells out, but you're not in a huge rush for it. Oh, they're amazing. Anyway, everything will be linked in the description box. <laughs> so this collection is obviously very outdoorsy. It's... um. It's the Great Outdoors theme. Now, I've got sort of two different ephemera packs. So one is like, it's called Friendly Forest. It still goes with the same collection, but it's more about the animals and um, 
like trees and stuff, nature. And then the great outdoors one is about like the activities that you do outdoors. So it has trees and stuff as well, but it also has like the the vans and the tractors and the cars and um, it has camping and fishing and that type of thing. So I'm not going to get them all used up. This is my also my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit <laughs> for the month of March. And I definitely won't get this kit killed. But I'm going to give it a red hot crack. You will at least get four layouts because that's what I am doing for the guest design stuff with um, Cass and Jacques at Crazy Craft Obsession. So you'll definitely see four layouts. I want to try and make a couple more. I may not get to film them. I'll see how I go. Um, I'm also currently at the time of doing this voiceover, which is the start of March, uh, 34 weeks pregnant, almost 35. <laughs> uh, I only went to 37 weeks with Lincoln so I'm I'm half expecting this bubs to come not early but you know not to go full term and so I may not <laughs> be around for the last part of March so I'm trying to kind of get ahead on some filming and things um, I finished work yesterday so I'm officially on maternity leave it is the weekend now um, so I can just quickly do some voiceovers while Lincoln is having a little nap he still naps and he's three, which I'm grateful for, uh, but that's, I don't know how much longer I'm going to get naps for. I don't think it'll be too much longer. He's definitely at that kind of age where he's sometimes wants to nap and sometimes doesn't. So we'll see. <laughs> um, now, so I have, oh, I cut out myself sticking down all the ephemera. So you saw me place the ephemera, but you didn't see me stick it down because I just wanted to this video not to go on for too long. I am following the sketch pretty closely, but I'm not using um, doilies, which the sketch uses. I'm also not leaving much room for journaling. There's not a lot to say about this layout. It's just Lincoln and Danny drawing outside <laughs> on the concrete. Um, this was in 2021. We were in lockdown. I'm pretty sure at this point we were in um, what us in Melbourne like to call the hard lockdown where um, Danny was teaching from home I was working from home Lincoln was attending daycare um, but otherwise he was home with us and uh, you know playgrounds were closed everything was closed you could just go to the supermarket essentially and you know medical care and so you know we weren't doing a lot um, so I got some chalk and we were sort of trying to be creative with how we spent our time to also give Lincoln some fun stimulation. Now, I'll tell you what I'm doing here because it's important. I, I am coloring in my raw chipboard from Too Crafty. Um, now, I got out one of my sponge, my finger sponge daubers, and I'm using the Distress Oxide in Wild Honey, um, which Cass, I got from Cass, and she helped me pick colors that would match to the collection. And this is a very good match. Um, so I got Wild Honey. Now it does dry a little lighter than it looks here. Um, so it does dry a little lighter than the sort of the more orange. It, it dries a little more yellow than orange. Um, and it, I feel like it's a bit more orange in the collection. There's both colours though, so it totally works. Uh, but what I did find is the little da sponge dauber just wasn't working. And I needed the saturation of colour I got from just like going directly from the Distress Oxide ink pad to the Crafty Chipboard. And then I also thought, just for fun, I kind of wanted to see, I've got a Kaser Craft Mist in white iridescent spray. And most of the time I've used it, it just sort of makes it shimmer. It's like clear, but it actually took a lot of the color off. I think it kind of soaked into the chipboard and so it soaked in the color as well. Obviously, the Distress Oxides react with water and things like that. So I suspect there was some of the reaction happening. Um, so I just then went back in and added some more color. But it came up really well and I didn't prep the chipboard or anything. So I'm super happy with that. Uh, so I'm going to glue that down. Also, what I love about Distress Oxides is they dry so fast. Plus, when I made this layout, it was really hot <laughs> um, in Melbourne we had a bit of a, a heat wave and also some rain Australia's getting um, pummeled with rain at the moment particularly up in the east coast there's some awful flooding happening in the eastern um, parts of Australia or the northeast north I don't know up up the coast um, poor Queensland and New South Wales have got terrible flooding happening at the moment um, and then rain sort of all down the eastern side of the country um, so it's muggy as hell as well because obviously we're in um, just coming out of summer so you know 
it's hot <laughs> everything dries fast um, now I have finished sticking all of my bits and pieces down and I thought I'd come in with these cute little enamel shapes I think they call them sprinkles doodle bug and I've got the campground critters these are called but they're just ants and some love hearts um, so I scattered a few of those around um, I wanted to come in with some of the other enamel shapes, but the other ones I got, the other sprinkles, sorry, were the, they're called Picnic Parade, but they are essentially the um, animals and they didn't really go with this layout. So I just came in with some enamel dots. Uh, is that what they call them? Is that what Doodlebug calls them? No, they call them, still call them sprinkles, <laughs> but they are enamel dots. Um, and it's the outdoor assortment, which does go with the collection. So I just add those and then I do come in with some splatters, of course. Now, I also give a little shout out to Cass in this layout. <laughs> um, so I'm going to come in with my navy hide top colour shine. Just a few splatters, trying not to go overboard because there is uh, a lot going on. A lot of ephemera. Uh, I tried to use some of the bigger ephemera pieces. So I used all of the travel themed things like the, the vans and the, the ute pulling the caravan because Lincoln's drawing buses and trains and stuff on the ground so we're going with it <laughs> okay we're going with it it makes sense to me um, now Cass again at Crazy Craft Obsession loves doodly borders I see her do them all the time so I was kind of looking at my layout and finished everything I'm like this needs something else I said I know I'm gonna do a doodly border <laughs> pay homage to Cass so I did um, I'll link Cass's channel in the description box as well she's got her own YouTube channel um, which obviously she runs for the business but obviously she creates all the layouts and everything um, so yeah it's all going to be linked there go and check out the shop they have great things and a great discount code 10% off um, so everything will be linked there down in the description box so go and check it out and we'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye